Today I'm going to be servicing the mop portal axles on the 79 series. I'm going to pull it apart and I'm going to show you guys how we do it. We're doing a little bit of maintenance here. Uh, we've got heaps of trips planned this year. Cape York, a heap of stuff in far north Queensland, a bunch of stations on the way, all the way down the coast through. We've got a Fraser Island trip. We've got a bunch of stuff planned. So I thought I'd do some preventative maintenance on the old girl. Get her up on the hoist and I may as well show you guys the process of changing the portal oil and what's involved with portals. So stay tuned. basically a gearbox on the end of the diff on each side. Uh, so we've got a new fabricated rear housing that runs to the four inch drop portal gearbox. I'll show you the insides of it when we get it apart, but this is the portal assembly right here you're looking at. Um, upgraded brakes and housing come with the Marks kit. So good bit of kit on the front end, portal's front and rear, uh, but the gearbox forms part of the swivel housing on the front. So if you know what a swivel housing is, you can understand that. All right guys, to show you a little bit more about this, I'm gonna rip the disc and the caliper off. I'll uh, get the little axle out and the hub assembly off this. Uh, then I'll start pulling the full housing apart to show you what's on the inside. So that's the inside, it's pretty self-explanatory when you look at it like this. You've got your axle running in from your diff center at this height and the little stub axle running out to drive your wheels four inches lower. So it's basically a drop gearbox and that's what you call a portal. ways to get these little cone washers out, they're a pain in the butt. Uh, I use a nylon mallet, mallet and just tap the end of the shreds. Uh, usually you put a nut on there and give it a log, but if I'm the nylon mallet, it's not too bad. It just kind of breaks the contact that they have and then you can see it starts to turn and come off. There's your tiny little stub axle. Goes from the gearbox to drive the wheels. So without that, you're not going anywhere. Anyway. Yeah, All right, we made a bit of a mess, but that's your cover plate off. This is your portal gearbox. Ooh, la, la. Main axle drives from the diff center. Your two planetary gears or spider gears uh, run it down to your drive. A tiny little actor that runs out to your hub, drives your wheels. Let's pull apart and have a look. 
I might just go and actually try and spin that wheel, see if it spins and you can see it. Pretty cool, eh? So essentially, top one drives, moves everything else, starts driving the bottom. So you get that four inch gear drop there. It's relatively simple. There's four gears, there's a bunch of bearings in here, and a little bit of oil. That's it. That's a little planetary gear, got a thrust washer on the back and the front. Two little races inside that. Very simple. All right, so you got a little thrust washer on either side of that, and then these races. So, just little race bearings that run in there. This one. Ooh, not good. That's why I do preventative maintenance. This one has actually started deteriorating. It's worn some hard facing off the needle rollers. That's because of the water that was inside this gearbox, this little portal gearbox, when we came back from the cave. So I'm gonna put that down to that. I'll do some inspecting. Okay, so this is a good needle roller. This is a nut, the needle roller that was next to it inside the planetary gear. And you can see these needles are actually very worn, very deteriorated. Uh, and one of them is actually missing here. Uh, that's inside the bottom of the casing. So uh, a little bit of water in there and lack of oil has contributed to that. I'm gonna go ahead and check all of the gears that I've got. Make sure there's no damage to any of the gear sets. Puppy, you helping daddy? Daddy's broken something, hey? Little rat bag, yeah, fix this. This is the broken one, yeah. Don't mind the background noise, apparently it's normal to mow and whip snip at two o'clock in the afternoon in the middle of summer. Final speed So here's my gear set. Uh, I'm just going through it. I do have damage to one of the main gears here. It looks like it's um, just started deteriorating on the hard facing. I've got every part to replace this as a spare, just in case. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change all the bearings and all the gears, the shafts, everything, and put this thing back together. So most of these gears are fine. Most of the teeth on these gears, uh, they are undamaged. Hard facing looks good. There's no pitting. But I'm going to change them anyway. Uh, I do have a bit of pitting on one gear, and then this bearing that's disintegrated here is—it's not ideal. Um, one of the needle rolls has actually come out, so I reckon that's what's caused the pitting in the main gear. Uh, but I did have water in this when I got back from the cave, so it's my fault for uh, for not doing some regular maintenance um, straight away as soon as I got back from the cave and checking this. I've only done a couple of thousand Ks since, but it just goes to show how you really need to be on top of maintaining your vehicle. This could be a diff gear, it could be a gearbox, it could be absolutely anything. Um, I highly rate the portals, I wouldn't change them ever. Uh, this has just purely come down to my lack of maintenance or lack of checking straight after the cape. All right, so what I found is the old one that came off, uh, the old gear is a 33 spline gear. The one that I had as a backup is a 32 spline, which I didn't realize until just now. That's all right, so one spline short, doesn't quite fit. I'm gonna get a hold of Lee from Marks and order some new parts. Hopefully they're here in a couple of days, and then we'll put this thing back together. So stay tuned. We're back in the shed. I've got my correct gears from Marks. Express posted them out for me. Thank you, boys. Love your work. Let's get this thing back together. You're gonna help me out, mate. You're gonna help me out. Hey, it's hot, isn't it? Oh, I've got two of them. All right, so I just throw the bottom gear, or the top gear set on, sorry. Stir clip holds it on the end of the shaft. Uh, that's from your diff center out into your portal gearbox. Seal runs on that, which separates the gearbox on the, the portal gearbox from the rest of the diff. 
I've uh, got a couple of new planetary gears, bottom gear and bearings and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the housing and get it back on the road. All right, we get this whole thing in as one piece is always tricky. Yes, it is. There we go. All right. All right. Line those teeth up. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Easier than pulling that whole gear off the shaft. All right, slowly getting somewhere. A little bit by a little bit. All right. All right. So just push your planetary gears under the shafts. Now I've got some thrust washers front and back. Just let the oil in uh, to the bearings inside, needle rollers. Your main, main gear, top and bottom. And it all looks like we should be able Beautiful. All right, let's get this thing back together. We'll get the cover plate on, get the stub axle hub on. Fill it up with oil. Punch a hole in my gasket. Gasket maker. Good job, crony. Not, not the correct way you're meant to apply it. <laughs> Finger paint. Exploded diagram of the portals is in my glove box, but I've forgotten what the torque spec is. So I've got to get my bloody car down to find out. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Chop your foot off. Has a twisted transistor. 65 newton meters. So the portal's back together, pretty much. Uh, I've got the little stub on here. I'm about to torque these up. I'll throw the hub assembly back on, get the bearings back in, the little short drive axle, and we should be good to go. Uh, all right, that's hub, wheel bearings, collar in here. It's always a fun job. End up with grease everywhere. Get this locked up, get the bearings tensioned. And I should be able to take her for a drive. 
put some oil in it first and then take it for a drive. This is one of the handiest little tools for Land Cruiser wheel bearings. Just makes it a little bit easier and a little bit less messy to get in there and wind that nut up. You can do it with a screwdriver or some punches if you're a bit stuck in the bush, let's say, but always keep this tool in the car just in case. We've never got to pull these things apart. Get the right preload on the bearings. And lock it up. Got the hub back on. It's all done up. Bearings are checked. Last piece of the puzzle, little stub axle. Throw this in. That is what drives the wheels. We get that buttoned up, we're going for a drive. Put the ABS sensor back in, put the caliper on. So when you get uh, when you get marks, portal axles, they give you one of these little bad boys. You know, this is worth the money for this whole lot. These things are amazing. Little Tom Thumb transfer pump. Whip him out, pump away. Take about 450 mils of oil, which isn't much, um, but it seems to work perfectly. So just make sure we got the right amount. All right. That is it. Easy as that. I'll check the diff oil while I'm here and then chuck the wheels back on, get the drive, brand new again. Just going to try and get some fluid running around the gears, get a little bit of, get a little bit of oil around the bearings and whatnot before I throw the wheel back on. Everything's done up, tight, plug back in. It should be right. Finally, back together. What's it been, two weeks? Two weeks, been off the road? Little piggy goes to market. I just want to say a big thank you to Mark's Wheel Driver. Helped me out heaps. Got me the parts that I needed. Um, I had a few bits and pieces here. They were not the right ones. Uh, they did change since I bought this. So got the correct stuff to me straight away in an airbag. Big thank you. Big shout out to Mark's. Absolutely love the portals and I do recommend them. We've been running for about 50,000 Ks. Uh, my own fault. Just want to confirm that, it's my own fault for not checking this since we got back from the Cape. It's been a couple of thousand Ks. I uh, should have checked them as soon as we got back. Did have a bit of water in this one. The other three are fine. Zero issues with them. Absolutely love portals. Nothing against the portals themselves. They're brilliant. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let's take this thing for a drive and let's get back to adventuring.